Hello guys, it's Turkey man. Welcome back to another video, man. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Kanga Cup Gold Cup group uh, stages, man. So the group stages as announced, man. Um, I believe what 24 team taking place. Sorry, not 24. Uh, 16 teams in total. I'm um, gonna to participate in the tournament. Um, team from North America, um, Central America, and the Caribbean, man. This is the Kanga Cup uh, Gold Cup. Um, it's going to take place um, between what U.S., uh, Jamaica, and uh, Costa Rica. So three different countries this time. And usually the tournament only take place in the U.S., um, but there's a few other countries that's going to take place in. And uh, yeah, the the last winner was uh, I believe what U.S. right? U.S. Yeah, U.S. won it last time the year before. It was Mexico. Jamaica was the runner up on both uh, two uh, two. Um, Jamaica was run up in the last two. Uh, gold Cup, but like, yeah, it's a different day, man, different time. So it's going to be very interesting. U.S. has a new coach. Mexico has a new coach. And most of these other teams have new coach and new players. Like, Mexico have so many great players right now. It's just ridiculous how good they are. Same with U.S. U.S. have a younger squad, but, like, the experienced players are not there no more. They lose. They lost a lot of young, um, older, experienced, like, mainstay in their squad, man. So um, I think the tournament will come down to U.S. versus Mexico. I think they kind of set it up so... U.S. versus Mexico, man. And Kanga Cup is all about the money. So no matter what, man, it's money first for them. And the, the games that really um, that attract a lot of crowd, attract a lot of, like, views and uh, sponsorship, that's the Mexico versus U.S. game because it's a big rivalry. And uh, they, they, they're trying to set it up so both teams make it to the final. And uh, who knows, man. That might happen. That might not happen. But definitely uh, Mexico and U.S. is two best teams in tournament. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, the teams that's in the tournament right now, man, is uh, Mexico, um, Cuba, uh, Martinique, Canada, um, Costa Rica, Haiti, Jamaica, Bermuda, Nicaragua, um, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Garaco, um, United States, Mexico, um, Panama, Trinidad. Yeah, so uh, like 16 teams in total, man. It should be a very interesting uh, tournament. And as I said, man, for the first time, it's going to take place. Um, in three different countries. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if it's four or three. I think it's three different countries going to take place um, in the uh, U.S., Jamaica, and Costa Rica. So it should be a very interesting tournament. So um, it's four groups of four. Group A consists of Mexico, um, Canada, Martinique, and uh, Cuba, man. So uh, in my opinion, man, Mexico is the best team in the tournament. And uh, Mexico is going to top group A. With uh, them going through, followed by Canada. Canada have a very good team, and Al Alfonso Davis, um, watch out for that guy, man. I think he might be the top goal scorer of the tournament. When he was 16, he was playing. He played in the tournament when he was 16 years old, man, and he was one of the top goal scorer. And now he's playing for uh, uh, Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga, scoring in the last game that he plays in, man. He's not really featured too much for them, but he's been doing very good. I apologize for the sound of the mic. My mic is kind of messed up. I apologize for that. But yeah, man, uh, Canada, uh, Mexico, and Canada um, gonna gonna be the team that advance out of Group uh, B, and uh, I'm not sure if they're playing for third place. I'm not sure if they, I don't think they're playing for third place. I think it's just like uh, the the first two qualify uh, qualify out of each groups of four. So Group B consists of Costa Rica, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Bermuda, man. So um, Costa Rica definitely gonna top that group with uh, with Brian Ruiz and uh, Salsa Borgs. Alan, um, Alan Cruz and Joel Campbell, man, those are the guys you really gotta watch out for. Uh, and so, yeah, man, for yeah, Costa Rica definitely gonna top the group. Um, I think AD is gonna be the uh, finish up second place. Uh, I think AD is gonna finish second place, and it's gonna be between AD and Nicaragua. But the, uh, so it's sorry, Group B consists of Costa Rica, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Bermuda. So M Bermuda is one of the new teams to, uh, in the tournament. Caribbean Island, small Caribbean island. Um, but yeah, man, Costa Rica should top it, man. They have top players like um, Brian Ruiz, Celso Borgs, uh, Joel Campbell, Helen Cruz, man. So they have quality there. Uh, second place should be between AD and Nicaragua, but I'm going to roll with AD. I'm rolling with AD. They got Derek uh, Etienne Jr. and they have uh, Duncan Nasa, man. Those guys are good, so I'm rolling with them. Nicaragua, you never know, man. Um, they got one Barrera, man. That's the only notable guy I know from them, but. It should be very interesting, man. Yeah, it should be very interesting, man. But, yeah, um, Group B, I, I think it's going to be Costa Rica topping the group, followed by Haiti. But between Haiti and Nicaragua, I wouldn't be surprised if Nicaragua finished um, second place above Haiti. But let me know what you guys think. 
Um, group C, man. Group C consists of Honduras, Jamaica, El Salvador, and Caraco. Caraco was in the tournament last time. I think Caraco did very good well when it was in the tournament. Uh, surprised that they did play better than I thought, man. Reggae boys, man. That's my team. That's my second team because I'm Jamaican and American, man. So, uh, um, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm supporting Jamaica and uh, and America, of course. I'm Jamaican. But yeah, man. So I'm rolling. With, yeah, I'm rolling with. Uh, I think I, the, the team that's gonna top the group. Um, you know what? I, I say Jamaica gonna top the group. I think Jamaica gonna top the group. Followed by Honduras or um, El Salvador. Those one of those two, two teams are gonna finish second. But I wouldn't be surprised if Honduras top the group. Cause Honduras have some quality player, bro. Some quality player, Albert Ellis, man. He plays for I want to say he played for Houston Dynamo. He was on loan from Monterey last year. I'm not sure if Houston buy him out, like buy buy out his contract uh, permanently. But yeah, he's a beast, man. Albert Albert Ellis, man. He's a beast. Uh, you really gotta watch out for him. Um, Manuel Figoro, Figoro, he's very good too. Same with uh, Romel uh, Cuoto, he's very good. Uh, Jamaica, man, Jamaica got Andre Blake in goal, man. Andre Blake in goal is just a problem. It's a problem. Uh, they have Kamar Lawrence, they have uh, Darren Matox. Um, Matox, man, I like Matox. The only thing he just can't score. And uh, and uh, what's this guy? Romeo Williams, bro. Romeo, uh, Romeo Williams, he plays for. Um, He's played for Atlanta United and won the title with them last year. So um, if he get called up, he's going to be a problem. And so uh, Jamaica do have an all right squad, man. Andre Blake is, a, is one of the best goalkeeper in the in the Kenton Cup region, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. But yeah, that's the Jamaica squad. El Salvador, man, Oscar Siren, he's a beast. So you really got to watch out for him. But yeah, I think I think Jamaica is going to top the group, followed by Honduras or El, El Salvador. Or Honduras is going to top the group, followed by Jamaica or El Salvador. So it's gonna be a very interesting group, man. But um, I think Jamaica will go through. I think Carraga is gonna finish at the bottom of the tournament. Uh, no, man. Honduras versus El Salvador, man. A big rivalry. Uh, the, the, these two teams went to war, man. They went to war back in 1969 over a, a soccer football match. It was just crazy, man. Uh, it went. It was like a 10, 11 year war, man. They signed a peace treaty in 1980. It's just crazy. So shout out to them. It's gonna be war. In that group, uh, the, we come on to the final group, man. Final group is Group D, consists of United States, Guyana, Panama, and Trinidad and Tobago, man. So Trinidad and Tobago and Guyana is the new teams that had it to this tournament since last tournament. And uh, yeah, man, U.S. gonna try to get revenge, man. Uh, U.S. got an easy group. U.S. has an easy freaking group, man. And I think they're gonna try to get revenge over. Um, they're gonna try to get revenge over what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Over Trinidad and Tobago, cause Trinidad and Tobago knock them out, so they couldn't make it to the World Cup, bro. Trinidad like C team beat US like A team from uh and preventing them from going to the 2018 World Cup. So they're gonna look for revenge, man, and they're probably gonna blow Trinidad and Tobago out of the water. Or you never know, Trinidad probably, probably with that one, but it should be very interesting. But me personally, I think uh US is gonna stop the group easily. Um, my boy, what's his name, man? Timothy Wee, Timothy Wee, man, uh, the PSG player. Um, he's on loan at um, he's at loan in Celtic in the Scottish League, and uh, this guy is the future man. I, I like him. I think he's very good. Um, what's his damn? There's so many play man. I forgot their name, bro. The guy that played for Red Bull Leipzig, man. He used to play for Red um Red Bull New York New York Red Bull. I forgot his name. He's, he's a beast. So he's a beast. Um, midfielder, defensive midfielder. Um, he's a beast. Uh, they have so many young play man. The guy that plays for uh, Wolfsburg, the the 17, 18 year old striker, redhead dude. Uh, that's from like St. Louis. He's a monster. Um, Christian Pulisic, um, Zaha. They have so many good players, man. I think US. They have a very young squad. They don't have like, like a lot of the older players. Please, man. Please, though. Brad. Um, what's that? Brad Guzman. No, Brad Guzman, bro. Do not bring Brad Guzman to the um to the Gold Cup. He's trash. Um, but yeah, man. I think US is gonna top that group easily. And uh, second place is gonna be between Panama and Trinidad and Tobago. But more than likely, I'm going with um, Panama, man. Panama made it to the World Cup, and they they were sorry in the World Cup, man. But that was their first World Cup. They were able to score a goal, and it was very exciting, man. Panama is is a very good team. They do have some good players, and uh, it it should be good. It should be interesting, man. They have a new coach right now. Um, it should be very good. I think they have some young, up and coming young players, and uh, they they have a very good squad, very good league over there in Panama. So. Um, 
I think Panama are going to finish second, man. Between them or Trinidad and Tobago, um, Guyana. Um, I'm surprised Guyana make it, man, because Guyana is more of a cricket country, but, like, they, they, they're in it now. Uh, they got War Warren uh, Grease Gre Greenville. He played for Philadelphia Union. They got um, Emery. Emery Welsh, man. He plays for, I want to say, uh, he played for Forge, a team in the Kenny, Forge FC, a team in the Canadian uh, Premier League, man. So there's a lot of Canadian, um, a lot of Guyanese in in, in uh, in Canada, so you might be have a lot of expat um, like um, kids that was born there, so they're gonna claim uh, Guyana and play for Guyana. But it is what it is, man. So that's the Gold Cup, man. Let me know who you're gonna top, see top in these group, man. What games are you looking forward to? Um, group A, Group A, um, I think Mexico and uh, Canada going through. Uh, Mexico and Canada, that's gonna be a very good game. I think Mexico gonna win that game. That's the game I'm looking forward to in Group A. In Group B, we got Costa Rica versus. Um, I say Costa Rica. I think Costa Rica gonna be everybody. I think Costa Rica versus uh, AD is gonna be a very good one. And Costa Rica versus Nicaragua, that's gonna be a very good one. Uh, and Nicaragua versus AD gonna be a good game. And so Group B looking good. Group Group B looking good. Uh, this group is very good too, man. Um, um, group C with uh, Jamaica, Honduras, and El Salvador. I think uh, the Honduras versus El, El Salvador game going to be ridiculous. That's going to be crazy. Caracas versus Jamaica going to be pretty much exciting too because it's two like Caribbean countries. But yeah, man, El Salvador versus uh, Honduras, man. It's going to be one of the harsh rivalry. Um, What's going to be a grudge match, man. Uh, same with um, Group D, U.S. versus Mexico, man. That's going to be crazy. Trinidad, sorry, U.S. versus uh, Trinidad and Tobago. That's going to be very exciting. Um, same with uh, U.S. versus Panama. That should be very exciting. Guyana versus Trinidad. That should be very exciting because both of these countries pretty much close to each other, but um, on two different continent, really. But like, it is what it is. But yeah, man. So that's the um, the group stage for the um, Gold Cup. Gold Cup is coming this summer, man. Cannot wait for it to start, man. It's going to be a very exciting tournament, and I'm going to try to cover it as much as possible. Um, you guys keep up giving me updates on all this stuff, man. I definitely will cover it. And I want to see when the Kanka Cup, I mean the, uh, uh, the Ball gonna announce their, um, their, uh, group stage too, man. It should be very interesting to see, um, the group stage over there in, uh, in South America, man. But like, subscribe, man. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Leave a comment, share this video. Let me know what country you support, man. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.